Hi everyone, today I will be showing you my version of making black eye cake or Chinese cake. And if you want to see how this is being done, then stay with me to the end. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly please do so. And don't you forget to check the description box below, okay? At this time, I'm going to use the fingertip method by combining the shortening, the butter and the flour together. I'm not going to use any kneading method here. You just have to be gentle with this kind of mixture. And you know you get a very good mixture when you rub it between the palm of your hands and it turns out looking like wet sand. looking something like this once this is done i'm going to make it well just so that i can use ice cold water to combine this mixture using ice cold water is going to allow you to get a very nice flaky crust and this is the trick to doing pastries it would be flaky when you're done so now no kneading, you're just going to squeeze the dough together like so until you form a dough ball, just like this. Once this is done, I'm going to continue doing the rest. And you want to place a cling wrap over the dish when you're finished and just place it into the refrigerator just for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's time for me to roll the dough just so that I can make my circular pieces to start my filling. So you want to roll the dough at about quarter of an inch thick using a cutter to cut the dough and you can use any size of cutter depends on the size of pastry that you want to make so i'm going to place the dough in the palm of my hand and i'm going to place a generous amount of filling onto the dough and just squeeze the edges like this making sure that it's properly sealed Now I did grease my pan and that is optional. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to place it onto the pan and press it just a little, just like so. There is also another method that you can use like I'm doing here. Press it into the palm of my hand and just place it onto the pan. Now I have some red food coloring. I'm going to add just a few drops of water and I'm going to make a dot on top of my pastry. I do not want to stain my finger at this point of time, so I'm using the back of my measuring spoon, and I'm just going to make a nice little round dot on each of the pastries. 
set them into the oven to bake for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to remove them and add some egg wash to this dough. Once I'm finished doing this, I'm going to place them right back into the oven and let them bake for 12 more minutes. After 12 minutes, this is what my black eye cake looks like. And here you have it, guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Don't you forget to subscribe and press that notification bell. And leave me a comment. Thank you for coming in the kitchen with Lynn. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.